shave with the Global Shave Club Fat Guy. And in it, we will be using a Wilkinson sword from Gillette. Also, soap. West Coast Shavings in collaboration with Zingari Man, right? Yeah, Zingari Man. Uh, the Soloist. That's what we'll be shaving with. And we have a matching splash and ball, courtesy of Thomas D. So, this is an adjustable razor. We'll get into some details on this, but first, let's wet the face and let's start lathering. Hope everybody has had a very, very good Tuesday. Just using some bloom water here on the face. This should be uploaded if all goes well tomorrow morning, which is uh, Wednesday morning. <sighs> Scent on this soap is very, very nice. But this video is not about the soap. This video is about the shaving utensil. Like I said, this is the Global Shave Club Fat Guy. I have some notes over here I'll be looking at periodically. This is the replica um, by Global Shave Club of the uh, Gillette uh, model 195 um, and that's the 1959 uh, fat boy that Gillette made um, the size design and functionality are equal is what uh, global shape clip says so before we do anything let's kind of just look at it a little bit it's a twist to open and it's also an adjustable so you have one through nine um, we're going to start off with the, and I'm assuming the little, you have a little um, cut out there. I'm assuming that's going to be where we start. So let's see. Okay. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, that has to be. Okay. So we're going to start on setting nine and we're going to work our way down. I have uh, quite a bit of growth. I've been growing it just for this video. But like I said, <clears throat> adjustable, just from the bottom. Um, uh, a twist to open from the bottom, adjustable from up, up, the, up here at the ring. Um, it kind of looks, from the top down, looks kind of like a Vanderhagen twist to open. Um, does have a flat base, if that interests you. So you can put that down. All right, so we'll pop our blade open. Obviously a brand new Gillette Wilkinson sword blade, a Gillette product, glue on that side, no glue on this side. Let's pop that in, let's create our lather and let's get going. All right. So there's definitely overhang on the sides, a considerable amount, not as much as some, but there's definitely a considerable considerable amount. So if you're going under your nose here, just be careful of the little tabs there. For the brush today, they, it will, we will be using the Maggard Super High Density Badger Knot. It's been soaking. Bring out the excess water and get lathering with our soap. So yeah, Global Shave, Club, uh, Global Shave Club's Fat Guy. A replica of the Gillette 1959 model 19 uh, 1959 model 195 fat boy in size design and functionality we have just the chrome finish um, on this particular model uh, size and weight is 3.2 ounces um, the actual size itself I was not able to get my digital my digital calipers were kind of off I gotta see what's going on with those Global Shave Club says that this is a new Swiss metal alloy of brass and magnesium. Um, it says that the fat guy, which is this razor, is five times stronger than the Gillette, than the original Gillette Fat Boy. I don't know how you could decipher that. I mean, maybe they have a metallurgist or something that can tell them that. Uh, five times stronger? Like, why not six? Why not four? Why is it five times stronger? The looks of the razor, very nice. Um, I do like, I do like the twist to open design and I also like the adjust ring. Just very, very convenient placement for me.
All right, we're back with the first pass. And again, the setting is on nine. Well, very nice, very efficient on this side of the face. We will go over some more specs now. The pricing for this razor is $99 and can be purchased at Global shave.club If you go and look on the site you'll see that it'll show this being marked down to $99 that's the current purchase price but you can see that it was marked up before to 149 I don't know if it ever sold at 149 or if that's just more of like a, a marketing tactic you know that, that a lot of companies use so that got me to thinking if I were to go and purchase a A Gillette 1959 Fat Boy, what would it cost me? And that's where I kind of learned why, why the pricing was dropped. So, on Etsy and eBay. On eBay I found one, on Etsy I found several. 1959 Gillette Fat Boys. Um, same model as what this replicates. And... Uh, you could buy them new old stock, basically in the packaging with the original blades that they came with for $140. So basically a brand new, what this replicated, or replicates, what this is a clone of, is brand new $140. So that's probably something to do with, with the price drop from a Global Shave Club. Um, you could find them as low from what I've saw. So in some, I'm, I'm talking good condition. I'm not talking about the beat up ones that you'll have to send off to spend money on to get repaired. But the good ones that have very little wear or very minimal wear that can't be buffed out easily by the user, uh, those started at about $58. So I understand why, you know, Global Shave Club. I think it's Sheldon that owns a Global Shave Club. I understand why they why they dropped the price, you know. Before we continue the next pass, let me show you the soaps for the next shave. Um, for the newer guys, um, what you'll do is you'll vote on these two soaps that I'm going to show you, and whichever has the most votes in the comments, I'll be I'll be using that soap in the next video. So the soaps are going to be. Let me dry my hands here. I'm going to use the art of shaving, sandalwood, or lather and woods, bay rum, which to me, this smells like a barbershop scent as opposed to bay rum. But I could be crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this from a nine down to, let's go from a nine to a five. So from nine to five, 
let's get going. Uh, the nine definitely felt a little aggressive, um, no doubt. There was a bit of uh, a bit of blade feel, as you would expect using the highest highest setting. But I feel like it was super efficient without being too bitey, you know. So no complaint. A lot less blade feel on the number five. Still very, very minor, but nothing to uh, wince at. It's, it's, you know, it's comfortable. Very nice rinse ports on the bottom of the base. I'll show you those now. Basically following the bar here on each side. Nice rinse ports. I could stop right there. So going from nine to five for me, the, the setting, the adjustable setting from nine to five um, completely kills the growth. Wow, that's actually very nice. Um, if I go against the grain, I still have a little bit of feeling on the cheeks. So I am gonna do one more pass, but this is definitely an acceptable shave for any work environment. Now, when I'm giving you my experience with this razor, I, I don't have a Gillette Fat Boy. I can't compare the two, you know? So I'm just giving you my thoughts on what's in front of me. You know, uh, unfortunately, um, you know, when you have replicas or clones or any of that type of thing, you have the crowd, and I understand where they're coming from, but you have the crowd that hops on the bandwagon of, you know, these products are blah, 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 because they're nothing but wannabe of the originals and all this other stuff. And again, like, I kind of get it. Like there's maybe you have sentimental value with with your, the, whatever your item is that's being cloned. Like there's a lot of reasons and I understand that. But, you know, for what it is, you have to look at the item for what it is. You know, does it, yeah, it says it's a replica, but if it didn't say it was a replica, you know, would you would that change your mind if it were, but it just wasn't marketed as such? I don't know. So while I don't really fully jump on that bandwagon of, you know, no rep no replicas and no clone, you know, I I understand the thought. It's just I, I'm not on that same bandwagon. For me, my thought on this razor is not comparing it to the Gillette or any other razor. It's it's performing extremely well for me, you know. Um, and that's what I'm going off of. So I hope anyone that watches the video and and you know disagrees with the replication of of you know, a, a 1959, you know, fat boy. I hope, I hope those guys or you guys understand that I'm not really judging this, comparing the two. I'm just judging this. So, all right. Um, we're going to go from five to, I don't really want to go all the way down. Let's go from five to, um, let's go to three. Let's do a three. So five to three right there. 
I think you're supposed to open this every time you adjust. I don't know. I've heard that in the past. Not not specifically from this, but from other razors that are twist to open that have an adjustable uh, knob. Maybe, maybe that's incorrect. I don't know. All right, I'm really having to press here on the number two setting. I'm putting a lot of force, but it is cutting hair. And it's cutting hair and there's no blade feel. So it's, it's, um, it's effective. And I don't feel like, I don't feel like unless I tried super hard, I could cut myself with with the setting so feels very nice actually this setting feels like a kind of like a massage I've said that in the past um, with specific razors but it's kind of what this feels like, kind of like a gentle, like, you know. Very nice. The adjustable ring did as it should, in my opinion, at every single adjustment that I tried. You know, um, I'm gonna put a little bit more on the neck here, those two little spots, and let's try to get, let's try to get those. Completely baby bottom smooth. I'm gonna to go to setting one. I just want to see if there's because I know with the um, all right we're on three and we're down to one. With some adjustables like with the Rockwell, um, the one and two base plate on the Rockwell don't do anything for me. They don't cut any hair. Um, so yeah. I uh, this is this is cutting here the little stragglers that I missed. Wow. Very, very nice. I have a couple of weepers here and there. It is what it is. That's not, that has nothing to do with the razor, the blade, the soap, nothing. That's just my skin. I have bumps and lumps and whatever else, but um, I, I don't blame the razor at all for that. Cold water rinse. Mm. Very, very little tingle on my neck. Other than that, nothing. Wow, very, very nice. Holy cow. Let me grab a towel, one sec. Yeah. So, let me see if there's anything that I missed. I don't believe so. No, I went over everything. Uh, this is copper coated in chrome. Um, I did not see where it was 
where it was made. Um, so I can't give you that information, sorry. Maybe uh, Sheldon or somebody from Global Shape Club will watch and they may be able to uh, give you that information in the comments. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. I'll say this. This is my honest to God opinion. You guys know I shoot straight, I don't BS as far as when I give you my thoughts and whatnot. My thought is this. If I had the money and I wanted to try this out, I would purchase it. Um, from, from Global Shape Club's website, they say themselves that this is a pure copy of the 1959 Model 195 Fat Boy that Gillette produced in size, design, functionality. Okay, so taking their word and saying that this is identical, and I believe them, uh, this is identical to a Gillette Fat Boy from that specific year that I could purchase that has little little scratches or whatnot in it, and I could purchase that for fifty eight bucks, and you know just get a little bit of a, um, a polishing compound and make it shiny like this, you know. Again, this razor, in my opinion, is very good. I don't think $99 is a bad price for this specific razor. But you could save 40 bucks on basically an identical razor that this mimics. You know, it's not going to be brand new. Like I said, um, if you have the money, I would definitely purchase it. If I had the if I had the spare change, uh, that would be something I would grab. Again, this is sent from LP to me to test out and review for you guys. Um, this is not my razor. Um, I could definitely recommend it. Like I said, I have no issues with it whatsoever. On a scale from one to 10, I don't even have any 10s to, to go off of, but I would say that this is definitely above mid range. This is probably with the adjustability that it gives, the very, very close shave, just after two passes, setting nine, setting five. Um, it being twist to open, super easy for anybody. Uh, I would say that this is, this is probably seven and a half, eight, you know, somewhere up there. Um, just from a functionality design standpoint, it's visually pleasing to look at. Um, I don't know, to me, like that's subjective, right? That is subjective, but for me, it's visually appealing. Um, the twist to open, I think that's in the perfect spot down here with the adjust ring at the top. Uh, you know, I, it's just, for me, this is a very, very nice razor. Um, worth its price for what it is, but if you're looking for a Gillette Fat Boy, you know, go and purchase a Gillette Fat Boy. That's what I would say. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, no, no issue with this razor. All right, let's go ahead and put on our matching splash. Oh, I didn't even mention it yet. I'm sorry. Cheers. We are drinking. I haven't even had a sip yet. I had a sip when I was lathering, but I think I cut through cut through that. Um, yeah, Twinings green tea. That's what I'm sipping on. So, get our splash out. Oh yeah, this synth is so nice. I was browsing their website. Um, they have a lot of a lot of razors. Some replicas, some, uh, I think they have some um, just like their own design or whatever. You know, another another thing about the whole, man, and this, this honestly is not subjective, my, my thoughts on this. Another thing about the whole crowd that doesn't necessarily like the clones or the replicas. You know, this day and age, I mean, how long have people been shaving and creating shaving utensils? And this is the same thing for um, this is the same thing for straight razors as well. You know, put put twenty straight razor, you know, straight razor manufacturers or artisans or whatever um, in in a in a space 
right? And keep them all closed off from each other where they can't see what they're working on. Tell them to come up with something original. I guarantee you there's going to be more than five of them that come up with the same design. So like nothing, like I said, this day and age, nothing can be done that's a true original, I don't think. Um, unless you just do something completely crazy, you know, but... So, I don't know, that's why I, that's why I honestly don't get mad at um, people that, you know, make replicas or whatnot. Alright, I'm just rambling at this point, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The Soloist Balm. Actually, with this, I dropped the cap, but with this, uh, with this, you don't really need the balm. I have it, I'm going to use it, but uh, these weepers just won't relax. What's crazy is I have this in here. I have my, not alum stick. Uh, styptic pencil in this bathroom and I just never use it all right so we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do two squirts like those sound effects oh yeah and I'll be smelling like a dream all night mm. so yeah that's the uh, that's the shave guys if you haven't already pause the video and uh, comment down below on what uh, shaving soap you'd like to see next like I said, it's lather and wood, bay rum, or uh, the art of shaving sandalwood. Both very nice scents. I honestly think only one of those are true to its name, but uh, or not name, but scent. Oh, very very nice. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, the next razor that I'll be doing, I think. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look at the. I'll have to look at what I have left. I think I have three left, three new ones that I haven't touched yet left that I'll need to do a shave with. Um, in the future, I definitely will do another shave with this um, before I send it back to LP, just because I want to try a feather in it on setting nine. <laughs> Sounds crazy, uh, but I think it'll be a very, very nice shave. And um, yeah, any suggestions or comments that you have, just leave them down below. You can also shoot me an email. Um, and oh, oh, one more thing, sorry. Uh, live shave, Saturday or Sunday. I don't know which day yet. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday. I will post, um, I'll, I'll, put a, I'll, put, I'll put up like a little poll for you guys, Saturday or Sunday. And then we'll do, I didn't get many for like 11 a.m. Central. So what we'll do is we'll start at 12. We'll do 12, two, uh, we'll do 12, one, two, three. 12, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll do 12 um, um, Central through uh, 3 p.m. Central and see what you guys prefer. Um, and then also Saturday or Sunday. So that's it. I know some guys um, asked if we could do a Sunday live shave as opposed to a Saturday because they do things with their families on Saturdays, and I completely understand that. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll do a poll, and, and the majority wins. You know, it's just, just how it is. Some guys aren't going to be able to make it Sundays. Some guys aren't going to be able to make Saturdays. You know, time difference, that type of thing. Although, Gabor, my man, stayed up till 10 p.m. Actually, a little past 10 p.m. Because I think he stayed through the entire last live shave. Um, I think it was about an hour. Close to an hour, if not. So, we stayed up till 11 p.m. watching me. Um, which I think is just really freaking cool, dude. Like, I don't know. I don't think I'm that entertaining. I don't think I'm that special. I don't think I have the it factor that, you know, other people talk about. Not other people, but like... Like actors, all that crap. Like, oh, they don't have the it factor. Well, I, don't, I don't think I have that. I, I know I don't have that, but so I don't know. It, it baffles my mind that people like will watch my shaves. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I've, I've talked long enough. I'm sorry. I try to get the details and I try to shut up. But like, this is me. I just talk. I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good one. And uh, I see you next shave. Can I can I click this button, dude? I just tried twice to click the button. It won't